Hello friends, in this tutorial, we're gonna turn our ScheduleX event calendar into a to-do app calendar. To achieve this, we're gonna write a custom component in React for our to-do events, and then we're gonna inject that component into the calendar. Okay, so here I have my ScheduleX calendar in front of me, and on the left, I have the code for setting it up. If you don't have your calendar yet, don't worry. I have another video that I will post in the description for how to set the calendar up. But as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of code for doing so. And now in order to add these to-do components to our calendar, we are gonna start by editing the events that we put in to the calendar. So I'm gonna start by adding this field called status. And one of these to-dos now is gonna be a to-do and the other one is going to get a status of done. And once we have done that, we're going to create the component that we're going to inject into the calendar. So in my source folder, I'm going to create a components folder. And inside of it, I'm going to create a time grid event.tsx. Now, if you're working with JavaScript, you can do the exact same things as I do and just leave out the type annotations. But I'm going to start by declaring that I need a type called props. And my component here is going to get one single prop. And the type of that one, I'm going to go ahead and import. So I'm going to say import something from ScheduleX calendar. And I'm going to import the calendar event type and use that one here. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and declare my uh, component function. So here we're getting our props and the only one we're getting is the calendar event. And this one is not going to contain anything except a bit of HTML that we want to render instead of the, of the default event. So I'm just gonna open this up by having a div. And then let's have a span for some text in there just to render the calendar event dot title. And uh, if, you don't, if you're not using TypeScript and you're wondering what uh, different properties there are on the calendar event, you can find these if you visit the documentation website. There will be a link for that also in the description. But we're gonna show the calendar event title here. And after that, we are going to check the status of the to-do. So we're gonna check if calendar event status equals to-do. And if it is a to-do, we are going to have an exclamation mark that we're gonna show. And if on the other hand, actually let's just copy this line. If the status is done, we're not gonna have the exclamation mark anymore because our task is finished. And instead, we are going to grab a check mark icon so now that we have this, I'm gonna go back to app.tsx and I'm gonna go ahead and import this component. So import time grid event. And as a last step here, I'm gonna pass a prop to my ScheduleX calendar component. This prop is called custom components. And there are a whole bunch of them. You can read more about it in the documentation, but we are going to use a prop called time grid event. And I'm gonna add our component and then I'm gonna reload. And there we go. There we have our custom events in the calendar. Now, they don't look very well for now, so let's just give them some style. So there we go. Here we have a, an unfinished to-do and here we have a finished to-do. And we can drag these around just like with any event in the ScheduleX calendar. And that is it, you guys.